It's the War Sub Films Variety Hour. Starring Mike Subjack, Tim Watson, and Don LeBlanc. Featuring J.A. Latona and a short film by Eric Sparks. And now your hosts, Mike Subjack and Tim Watson. Welcome to the Warsup Films Variety Hour. I'm Mike Subjack. Once again, I'm Tim Watson. And you're witnessing history as we're the first television show ever to be broadcast in the IMAX format. Wait, what, what the hell? What? Josh, what the fuck is going on with the cameras? I don't know. Let me Google it. Well, hurry the fuck up. This is embarrassing. So I went to the doctor. Yeah? Yeah. He said Herpacel should clear it right up. Good. Uh, we're still alive. So, what the fuck's going on? Okay, apparently most people don't own televisions that are four stories high, so that means most of the image is cropped. Okay, so how the fuck is that our problem? It's our fault people still have little ass televisions? Why don't you tell those fucking mongoloids we call viewers to join the 21st fucking century? Yeah, like, you're still alive. Alright, fuck this, I'm going downstairs and firing people. I don't see what the big deal with IMAX is anyway. I mean, it just makes things really big. I don't know. Do you think we can have this cleared up by the time that we get back from our first sketch? Yeah, I made sure everything was rendered in standard definition, too. We'll be right back.
you know, the Knicks are doing really good this year. I think they're going to make it all the way to the Super Bowl. Dude, first of all, the Knicks are doing really well. And it's not the Super Bowl, it's the World Series. Get it right. <laughs> really? Well, we're back. In standard definition. Wow. Amazing. 480 pixels. Spectacular. Hey man, the media is not the message. That's not the point. This was our shot at the big time. This is what the big distributors were gonna see. Fox, CBS, NBC, BET, Lifetime. This was going to put us in the hands of the big boys, and now we're fucked. Banished to public access hell for all time. Our next segment is a short film from Eric Sparks. He runs Astrophy Entertainment out of Mansfield, Ohio. And he's got several other shorts on his website, so I highly suggest you check it out. The short is called The Boss. Uh, shot in winter of 2005 and apparently is one of his earlier works. I don't know. I've, I've never met him. Tim knows him. I'm sure he's nice, though. Check out the website, man. I'll check out the website. Watch his stuff. It's okay, not that, will, it doesn't take that long. I'll check out the fucking website. It doesn't take that long Jesus to just watch a few shows. Christ, without further ado... It's not too much to ask. Without further ado, here's the boss. Okay, thanks, Eric. Next up on the agenda, we have The VHS Hipster, a short film we shot recently. The good folks at Intermezzo were kind enough to let us shoot there, during business hours, even. So uh, a shout-out goes to them. Thanks, guys. But before we get to that, I want to talk a little bit about a subject that's close to my heart, DNR. DNR stands for Digital Noise Reduction. And it's a disturbing trend going on on the Blu-ray market that is ruining films and the director's intention of what film should be. You see, everybody thinks that high definition means that it should be a crystal clear, crisp picture with absolutely no flaws or anything, but that's not what film is. Film inherently is a flawed, textured art form. And grain, noise, that's, that's part of the, of the film. That's part of the original intent of the director, it's part of, of the original texture and look of, of the original film. So DNR is what they're applying to get rid of all of this noise and grain. What the hell? Hey, what the hell? Michael J. Subject, Timothy M. Watson, you have been condemned to die. What the frack is going on here? No idea. It's kind of cute, though. Do you actually feel that? Kinda. I mean, it's just warm. Like sitting in front of a campfire. Die, puny human! Aw, little guy. Do you want to move on, or...? I guess. The hell was I saying? Eh, doesn't matter. Anyway, here is the VHS Hipster.
what is it this time? I don't know. I uh, just, uh, just wanted to s- speak up, boy. I can't hear you. I don't know. I mean, I just uh, was having dinner with my wife and kids, and uh, we we're just talking, and then we started fighting, and um, kids started screaming, and it just, it just kind of got out of control. You hit her, didn't you? to rub me out. Her father's Mr. Latino, you know? I know who your wife's father is. Of course you do. I'm saying she... Saying that's it. She's threatening me. So you beat your wife, who also happens to be the daughter of Lucino. And now you want me to have some sympathy for you and bail you out of this? I don't know. I I know I'm stupid. I just... I just got out of control. I love my wife. It's just that... I just don't think that's worth rubbing me out over, you know? It'll cost you a finger. What? A finger? I'm tempted to whack you myself. You don't hit your wife regardless of whose daughter she is. But I wanted to take a chance this time. It'll cost you a finger. And I promise you, if I ever hear of anything like this again, not even Lucino will be fast enough to get to you. I'll whack you myself. Thanks, boss. (laughs) You're welcome. Tony, take him out back and handle this, would you? Which finger? Do I get to choose? Danny's here, huh? Show him in. Can I talk to you for a minute, Dad? I'm sorry, hon. Can't you see I'm taking care of some business? I'm sorry, Dad. I, I wasn't thinking. It's okay, sweetheart. Just run along. What can I do for you, Danny? Okay. Well, here's the deal. I've, uh, I've got these guys. They've got this really, really good stuff. And I would love to take this good stuff off their hands. I'd be glad to. But the, uh, the thing is that uh, what they have, actually a little more than I can pay. Okay, Vito. We got a whole shipment coming in, right? Yeah, boss. A week from Tuesday. Okay, well, let's be ready for it and have enough men to cover the whole job. Sure thing, boss. I know, Lucino. I know what he did. Yes, I took care of it. I don't think he'll be doing anything that stupid again. And if he does, he knows that whichever of us gets to him first will kill him. Yes, Lucino, I know what he did. Yes, I have a daughter and I'd be mad too. But I told him that I'd take care of it. He's been a good kid up till now and I wanted to give him a chance. I know what he did. Just do this as a favor for me, please. I'll make it up to you. I promise. Why don't you and your family come over for dinner next week? Yes, Lucino, I know what he did. So myself and just some come of the other over bosses just wanted to give you a little something. A small token of our respect and admiration. Excuse me, gentlemen. Thank you, gentlemen. I appreciate this gesture on the part of all of you. It means so much. Is he better? No, he's still the same. He's been that way for weeks.
did you see that uh, Criterion movies have been coming out on Blu-ray? Blu-ray? Please. What's wrong with Blu-ray? Blu-ray and the digital format in general is not the way to watch movies. Okay, so if you start collecting 35mm film prints or something? 35mm prints? No. Okay, then how are you watching movies? Well, I'm watching movies on a three-letter format, but I assure you it's not DVD. Wait, you don't mean VHS. Yes. VHS. Okay, so you don't care about watching movies in a higher resolution with special features, a better sound mix, and their original aspect ratio? Bosh. With VHS, you are given top to bottom, color in picture without the vast, black, ugly emptiness of letterboxing. Okay, but you do realize that HDTVs exist and they generally eliminate the letterbox, right? But films were not meant to be watched on a rectangle. When you go into a movie theater, what's the shape of the screen? It's a rectangle. I will. Not the mass-produced, commercialized multiplexes for morons, the Nickelodeons of New York. Rectangle. Wrong. A square that appeared to look like a rectangle. I don't know, man. I mean, I seem to remember my VHS tapes wearing out pretty bad. But don't you see? Film is in an imperfect format. Scratches and blemishes, and with VHS, those flaws are accentuated, therefore making it even better. You see, VHS has a pure and fragile analog frailty, welcoming you back time and time again. Just like real life, they are soon aged and gone, requiring you to take solace with other loved ones on the shelf. And you get it all in the convenience of a plastic shell. Here. Take a look at this. X-Men. Vintage 2000. Be careful, it's mint. Now you'll notice that X-Men has a slight metallic look to it. And the cold and personal digital format gives it a rather sterile look, while the more reliable VHS gives it a faded and more natural look. If you say so. You don't get it, do you? No, honestly, I don't get it. I didn't expect you to. Oh, so, how's your vinyl collection coming? Vinyl? Please. You're done with vinyl now, too? Didn't you just start collecting those, like, last month? Vinyl had its heyday. And then it had its heyday again. I've moved on. I'm afraid to even ask. Feast your eyes and ears in the future. Living on the Edge. A cassette single, vintage 1993. Living on the Edge indeed. I fucking hate you. Is that working at all? Damn it. No. I mean, it's warming it up, but it's not toasting the bread or melting the cheese. You will be utterly destroyed, annihilated.
Where do you think that thing came from, anyway? I have no idea. Maybe it has something to do with those people that you fired earlier. Wasn't one of them named Dyson? No, Tyson. Hmm. I guess we'll never know. Unhand me, flesh sack. You will be destroyed. I think that's enough. No, come on, get some more. Negative. You have a sufficient amount of photographic imagery. Cease and acquiesce to your doom. Yeah, really, I mean, there's like 60 photos on here. So fine, don't take any more. I think... I'm going to take him home, he's so... Sleek and shiny and yeah. Error. Error. I require assistance. I guess that does it for us this week. Does um, not compute. Tune in for our Halloween episode coming up in October. Um, I require assistance. Yeah. Does not compute. Does not compute. Help. Error does not compute.